just did the big spill and the camera wasn't even recording. <laughs> I had me a little nap today and something uh, something about I was reading uh, what do people do in the heat of the summer, you know, checking their bees. A lot of a lot of people down south uh, understands it's it's hot. And naturally I wear a bee suit, so it's a little hotter. But uh, I've got me a piece of angle iron, I've got me a bolt, and I've got me a piece of two inch square tubing. And now uh, I'm gonna make a uh, little bracket out of this. I'm uh, <clears throat> gonna weld this nut on the outside of this. So it will stay uh, stationary, then I can, uh, I can use this bolt. Tighten this up. And I'm uh, I'm out here in my tennis shoes, no socks and shorts. <laughs> We're gonna, and, and just so you know, this hurts just as bad as getting stung by a bee, getting hot sparks off of welding onto you. So we're gonna do this pretty quick. I'm not so sure he thinks this is a good idea. What do you think about that, huh? Think that's a good idea? I don't know. He don't seem uh, too sure about that. Well, I forgot to hit record when I was welding. Oh well. So I'm just uh, cleaning this up. Nothing uh, fancy about it. I, uh, I backed it up on the back side with another nut to hold that tight so this uh, nut wouldn't walk around and that bolt would stay centered in the, uh, in the hole. But I don't need that nut on there now. And it's hot. I'm going to weld a washer on the end of this, just to make a flat spot for it. Try to. Hot, hot. I don't want a lot of that weld uh, to splatter on them threads. I'm just using a core flux wire welder. Try to uh, weld the washer on there. I gotta find the washer. All right, I've got a washer here. Like I said, that's hot. Find something to move that around with. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna weld the center of that. I'm not gonna weld the washer to this angle iron. I'm just gonna weld the center of that. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Alright, here we go. A little spark on the foot. That's it. Use my little grinder with the sand and disc on it to knock off any of that splatter. Now, I'm going to 
attach this to here. See where I'm going with this? That's still hot. Probably too thin. Maybe just right. I believe that'll do it. Alright, I've got one more thing I've got to uh, do here, and I've got to make me a handle. So I don't have to take a wrench with me. And i got a piece of scrap down here. I may cut this off a little bit. Just getting rid of any sharp edges. Let that cool off. Uh, we just had a thunderstorm roll through here this morning, but I thought I'd see how this little bracket uh, it's going to work out for me. It's just one of those cheap umbrellas. sun off of me. Might even keep the rain off of me. Yeah, electricity's off. See the electric uh, power company. Looking, uh, looking for down lines, I guess. Well, the, elect the electricity's off for most people. But, uh, there's a little bracket. See, it just sits over my. That's, uh, see, this is uh, tightened up. I just want to uh, throw this out there for y'all. These are my custom made uh, hive stands. So I had to make a custom uh, bracket for them. I think they'll work all right. Just took me five years to, to think of this. <laughs> so, uh, uh, maybe I won't uh, be so hesitant to, uh, to inspect my bees on uh, hot sunny days. <laughs> we'll catch y'all later.